My question is in regards to our roles as representatives. So how many constituents have contacted you about this issue and said that the current teacher pension system uh, is broken? I don't think anybody's contacted me who really understands how pensions work, to be honest with you. So, so none? No, no constituents whatsoever? Have contacted you I've had con constituents contact me, yes. Okay. Uh, so for me, I've had over a thousand people contact me saying that they oppose this legislation. Uh, and so my next question for you is, do we have any teachers in the room? Besides those on the committee, myself included. <laughs> you don't uh, count, apparently. So there are, there are no teachers who are currently working in the classroom here today to testify on this bill. Uh, so if we have no constituents who contacted you saying that this was a, a problem that they wanted to see you fix, we have no teachers in the room to testify over whether or not they I have agree. I had people contact me who are in support of it, and I've talked to people that are very in support of it. So okay. Well, I then we have. Don't represent that I haven't had that. Okay. Well, we have some folk. We have no folks who here today who are teachers outside of those on the committee, who are here to testify in favor or support, uh, in favor or uh, opposition of this bill. So my question is. We've gotten this, this language uh, for approximately 10 hours of the bill itself. We had the fiscal analysis this morning, I think at 5 a.m. Uh, so do you genuinely think that this is a fair process for us to undergo uh, this legislation today and to potentially see this through passage in the next two weeks? To, try and, to somehow try and position this that it's getting jammed through, it's, it's almost comical. Um, pension reform has been a topic of discussion for years. Uh, for at least a couple of weeks, uh, the tentative plan that deal that was reached between leadership and the administration has been public. Uh, this bill doesn't have anything material outside of what those public agreements were. So I, I just dis I respectfully disagree that this is somehow being jammed through. Well, public statements are different than actual bill language. Uh, there are reports this morning that the bill itself has not been on our public website for <coughs> constituents to see. Uh, we, uh, like I said, only got this bill 10 hours ago. You know, I, I think that you're, uh, you're uh, pleased to, that, that this is going is to fall on deaf ears, that this is, this is clearly, uh, you've had plenty of time uh, to bring yourself up to speed. My guess is it wouldn't change whether you had this bill, that your thoughts on this wouldn't change whether you had it uh, a week ago or you got it an hour ago. Uh, respectfully, Mr. Chair, my concern isn't for myself, but it's for the constituents that we serve. And hearing from my constituents who are still working, my teachers who are still working this week, their last week of school, they're not able to be here themselves. They're potentially not even able to watch us live uh, online. And so these are concerns that have been raised to me, like I said, over a thousand people have contacted me on this. So that's just something that I wanted to raise to all of you today.